Today, I'm going to start a six video process on how we process rabbits. And we've done this from snowshoe hairs, cottontails, and everything else. We've had a lot of questions on how we actually make our cuts because we like to make five star meals of rabbits. We save everything. And this is going to be part one. This is going to be before the aging process needs to happen. But this is going to be the, 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 the cut and clean and getting everything prepped for the aging. So today I got to harvest a cottontail. Now, it is a little bit of a uh, graphic video. So if you do not like it, please turn off now. But here I have a cottontail rabbit. Now what I did out in the, in the woods was I went ahead and took the fur off and I gutted it so I could cool down that, temp that meat temperature as much as possible out in the field. So how I did that, had it on its back, grabbed the belly, pulled up on the skin of the belly, made a cut, cut up to the rib cage, cut down in between the legs, and then I was able to, once you do that with rabbits, their fur is very, or their skin is very thin, and you can just use your fingers, and you can work everything off to this stage right here. Then you make a small incision going from the rib cage down, and you got it. At this point, you always want to check your liver to make sure that it's not inflamed, spotted, or anything else that is a telltale sign that this rabbit does have disease. Now, of course, always wear gloves when you're doing this. I'm not doing wearing gloves because I got things right here. I'll wash my hands before I touch anything else. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to cut the head off. And I'm going to save the head for video number five. And then I'm going to take the feet. And I'm going to save it for video number four. And then we're going to, the fur, I already have it in the freezer. We'll go through the pickling solution so we can use the fur for fly tying material. But very simple. This might be a little gory, but you want to take a big enough knife to go through bone. And you'll pretty much just want to take it right above this joint. Push it down. Cut it off. You'll hear the bone go through, and then just keep working it because there's that tendon. Now you have a back foot, which we're going to save that because people love rabbit's feet, lucky rabbit's feet. But it's a very easy, cheap process to preserve that, and we will show you that some extra stuff. If you wanted to keep this for fly tying, you can. Uh, I, I personally don't. I mean... It's just not enough to clean and, and worry about preserving when it's on like this stage, where whenever I actually tan out the fur, I'll have plenty of that to go around. But same thing for the back leg. And then, oh, yep. Take that, save it. And then front, I'm going to flip this guy around. Front legs are the same way. So just a quick little cut. Front feet, I don't really keep front feet. They're really small. Can't really do much with them. People tend to not like the front feet. But after that, cut this front foot off. Those will go into my trash. And then I'll come right up here and right at the actual joint of the head. Uh, you can always Google up where the actual joint is. You'll do the same thing. Just cut the head right off. And then I will keep the head. I'll put that in a separate bag because this head, I'll scan it out and everything else. I can use part of the ears and everything else to fly tie or tie flies. The skull, I will preserve it because I do like to preserve the skulls. And it's, it's something that's really neat and educational in my opinion. Uh, once you're at this point, the knife can go bye-bye. Put it down into your dishwater. Uh, you, can, you now have just the carcass. You can do some extra cleaning up if you have anything that you need to clean up, but if you don't have anything else that needs to clean up, your carcass is now ready to be aged. So then if you have a fridge that you can hang it in, a meat fridge, you can hang it up by the rib cage, let it hang there for five to seven days, let that aging process take place. If you don't have that, I have a bowl because we just moved here to Colorado. I don't have my fridge set up yet, but I will simply put it in the bowl and I'll put a lid on it, and every day I'll come in, flip it around, drain the blood out of the bowl, and let it age for a little bit. And uh, I don't know 
how much we're going to age this one because we're actually wanting to get to eating it. But we'll definitely, this is the first video of six videos. Please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and welcome to my channel.